This is probably the most ambitious show I've ever been a part of, and uh, yeah. even though we're in episode five, we haven't really finished any of them. The pilot, <laughs> two, three, four, uh, yeah. So it's 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 pretty ambitious. Yeah. How's it feel now to be at Comic Con though, and starting to put it out there? Cool. Yeah, I can't wait for the actual like whenever when we can start like discussing the first season and what's happened because everything that we're we're five episodes in so there's we have like some really juicy stuff stuff that we want to yeah. share but <laughs> yeah. you know uh know. and we're so for it. we've been in that position for a while now i know of where we're just talking about the pilot we're talking about the trailer and there's so much more yeah and just being very sort of vague about yeah. the world you know mm. Having said that, yeah, it's definitely exciting, and you know, as you know, it's coming out in January, and um, we just saw the pilot again, and I, I gotta say, like, I I saw it for the first time on a in dinky television, and so watching it up on the big screen, I'm genuinely excited for the fans to see this. It's a great feeling. So, so you know, it's not all the time that you watch something that you're a part of. And you go, oh, wait a second. Wait, this is good. <laughs> but then also knowing what we know, we, the, f- yeah. the first thing we said after we watched it was like, I can't wait for episode two. 100%. We know it happens. Yes. And it basically it picks we're up. Because we're, we're talking, we're filming a scene on Wednesday mm-hmm. that takes place the next day um, in episode two. And we were like, watching the pilot, it was actually good for us. It was a good reminder. It's a good reminder of what that day looked like so that we're... For sure, because that day was in March. I know. It was, it was, for me, it was last year. Right. Yeah. When you guys were approached for the show, were you familiar with the source material at all beforehand? And if after you got the role, did you go back and read it? Yeah. Uh, so I I read Liz's script first, and uh, loved the character of Brad and Amy, and I'd never done a genre uh, in my career, um, but I thought it was. On the page, it didn't feel like your typical like oh vampire horror genre, and I felt like the core and the heart was that Amy Brad story, which I absolutely love because I have a daughter who's roughly about the same age, and um, knowing it was based on the trilogy of books, I went and read uh, Justin's book immediately after my meeting with Liz and just fell in love with the book. And then uh, I don't know if any of you read the first book. It was, it was a funny thing because I read the first book and I go. Brad dies in the first book, <laughs> like in the first quarter of the book. I'm like, what are they trying to tell me? But um, I've read all three books, and yeah, the the, the um, I'm a huge fan of Justin's work. Um, have you read the? I keep telling you about like the books. I'm always like, oh, wait till you see what your character. I know. Is. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm like, you're yeah, good. Exactly. But what she, her character does in the second book is 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 very epic. But I, I did. I read the first half of the first book and it's stellar um i just remember it's so funny because i just remember having the conversation with liz where she was like it's not necessary like you can read it for interest and for sure but you know of course it's based on the books but it's not a carbon copy of what the books were especially my character in the first season because they're you know sort of weaving our way a little bit it probably took me a while and because I'm such a huge fan of the books it it took me a while to understand that what we're doing as a TV show doesn't have to be the exact adaptation of the books and speaking mm-hmm. with Justin he says that every time you read the book or you read the book it's different from the when I read the book and every time I read the book over and over it changes as well and so it yeah. took me a while to say, okay, we're not doing a carbon copy, copy of, of the book. The book. Yeah. Um, and then when you see episode two and three and four and, and on, yeah. you go like, oh my God, we're, we're doing something just as... Powerful I hate to use and uh, cool. power, Yeah, mm-hmm. um, as, as the books. Granted, it's not exactly the same. So mm-hmm. um, I know it'll... You know, some fans but, but will be the, irked by it. Sure, but. but but probably only for a second because the truth is they'll be so invested in the story anyway. I mean, it's inspired. It's more than inspired by the books. So it's like the characters and and you know, 
all the all the characters that the fans love. Um, but then, you know, it's also Liz's brilliance, which is, you know, Justin said it on the panel. It's like he wrote the book and Liz wrote the television show. And he's so excited about the television show that Liz is writing, which is our fans should know. <laughs> and he also said about a specific scene that the scene at the river yes. where I'm talking with her mm -hmm. wasn't in his book. He says, but it fits in his story as well. He's like, those are the pieces that I didn't put into the book that fit seamlessly into the story and the narrative. So, so how is reading the book I think he, you know, I, I've, I've been talking to Justin about this. He's very descriptive in, in, in the way he he creates like a 4D image in your head when he discusses characters and the adjectives that he uses. He doesn't repeat the same adjectives for any of the characters, any of the descriptions of the scenes and things like that. So my first impression of Brad was in the car with Doyle on his way to see Carter. This is in the book. And his description of Brad was my blueprint. So from there, I took that and it shapes pretty much everything that Liz gives me. Um, but I'm still, I feel like I'm still true to that character in the book. Uh, we're just adding layers, especially our relationship as well. It's not, it's, you know, it's, in the book, it's non-existent really, other than we had a relationship. But in, in our story, we're, we're showing flashbacks of our past and what happened to our daughter and why Brad is the way he is and why Lila is the way she is. Which, you know, that's entertainment. And we get a little bit of that in the first episode, of course. We yep. get teased that obviously something happened to your daughter. Will that take a while for us to kind of find out or we, do we learn fairly quickly what happened to her? No. I think everything's drawn out. <laughs> everything's yeah. drawn out as much as possible in ten episodes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So what can you guys kind of tell us about your relationship and what can you guys can you kind of tease about that? And what we'll kind of see from you guys moving forward. <laughs> can we tease anything? Yeah. Obviously, like, you're helping him a lot in the first episode. Yeah. yeah, she helps me in the first episode. I think no, we can. We can there's, a bit of, there's a bit more help um, on the way yes. with Lila. Yes. Basically... Oh, I have a fun one for oh, yeah. people of the books. Yeah. Is that uh, a Lacey comes back. And the people in the books, that was a oh, very fun character. Giant. And yes. And so Lacey and Lila, that's a good tease, actually. Sure. Yeah. Lacey and Lila, we come together and we take on some stuff. <laughs> but that's the beauty of what Liz has done is that um, there's characters that, that are in the books that are beloved and she inserts them in a in a new way but still keeps the roots the same it's just it's mm -hmm. it's kind of fantastic yeah, what, it she's, is. what she's done it is uh gilder comes back and all these characters i'm like oh my god that's that gilder from the book yeah you know, exactly. he, he's working in episode five right now so yeah it's fun it's cool um the chemistry on, on screen between brad and amy and the car and those scenes they had together were really great i mean we just watched the, the screen the pilot downstairs how was that with your chemistry test beforehand was that instant, instant chemistry like on screen or um, talk about how you guys no, our first day of meeting was probably on set or when we did a, I'm trying to think back, it was a year ago that we probably met uh, at a table read. Um, but we had the luxury, and this doesn't always happen, but we had the luxury of shooting in a linear, linear fashion. And so we shot, the very first scene was my first scene with her in the foster house, uh, in the foster home. So we, we had sort of that, you know, distance and then towards the middle and the end of the show, we were, we're closer. And we were able to progress that relationship uh, in a natural fashion during the shoot. I don't think they ever planned that. It doesn't usually work out that way, but we, we had the luxury of doing it that way. Do you have a favorite part since it is a sci-fi, like a genre type of show? Um, is that different from just doing a straight up television show, special effects and things like that? Um, is that something more fun for you guys? It is such new territory for me. Oh, I'm for you too. too. Like, uh, when I tell you, never in a million years <laughs> did I ever think I would be doing a show that would be like a Comic-Con show. Like, literally. I, because it's not necessarily... I've always wanted to. Like, 
I've never really been a part. It's never been like it's just never happened. And the interesting part is that my part actually is the least of it for now. For now. Of all the sci-fi and the effects and all of that stuff, but hopefully, you know, when we get to dabble in that world. But certainly, you know, reading the scripts we took every couple weeks, they're so good, man. Like, this is so much more than a genre show. And it's not to demean saying like a genre is like whatever. It's just that it's so rich, it's so character driven, and it's um, it's just exciting. Like there's page turns in a in a really cool way that you care about all the characters. Yeah, I, I had the luxury of being on a really big, high concept show for Fox before this one, Pitch, which had a lot of moving parts. This arguably has more moving parts and is so much bigger. Um, it is, I'm always <laughs> amazed at the scope of like what we're trying to shoot. And I'm like, this is a television show. It's it's, a television it feels like show. a film. And we spent, yeah. yesterday on one scene, we spent nine hours on one action scene uh, where Brad meets a viral. And first time watching like a viral move and how they, how they attack and all that stuff, not to give them too much away, but it, it spent, we spent a lot of time, and that's something on television shows Definitely. we don't have the luxury to do. Um, but on this, we're, I'm glad they're giving us that time because I think it'll really translate on screen and the fans will appreciate it. Totally. And just to add to that really quickly is that it was a reminder today, watching the pilot again on the big screen, our producers, we've got, I mean, you know, we've got the Ridley Scott team. Like, yeah. we've got, like, cinematic producers yeah. behind our show. And it shows. It's really exciting. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. You can subscribe here. So subscribe to the channel. There's more videos off to the left. Mr. J says don't forget to ring that bell button for more notifications.